Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today the apparition of Our Lady in Fatima, our mother telling us to present our petitions and prayers to her so that she could present them to the heart of her Son. Jesus. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul, rich also there be in Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance 
the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through the Parisian and Galatian territory because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Mysia and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to joy with joy. Let all the earth cry out, cry to, out God to God with joy. joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord God, know that the Lord is God. He made us His, we are, His people, the flock He tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good. His kindness endures forever and His faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please stand. with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own, but because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you, no slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours, and they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. A few months ago, I was in conversation with a former companion in the seminary 
where I studied. And he is now a Jesuit. So I turned out to become a diocesan priest and he proceeded to become a Jesuit. And we were having this conversation and I told him, you know, it was my dream to become a Jesuit. Before I entered San Carlos Seminary, I would have wanted to enter the religious life. So I wanted to become a Jesuit missionary. But, you know, here we are. It was you who became a Jesuit. But he said to me, you know, you are now working with the Jesuit communications. You are the host of Kapet Pandasal, a program of the Jesuit communications. And he said to me, your vocation to become a Jesuit was never denied. It was only redirected by God. And I think, my dear brothers and sisters, that is true also with our prayers. Our prayers are never denied. They are only redirected by God. We see this in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles. They were so eager for their mission to go to the different territories. They would have wanted to enter some places, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them to enter that place and redirected them to another place. That is mission. It is always led by the Spirit. And there will be times that what we want will not happen. But that does not mean that God denied us. It only means God redirected us. And this is also true with the message of Jesus in our gospel passage today. When Jesus reminded his disciples that the world will hate you, the world will reject you, but remember, we do not follow the world. We are not of the world, but instead, we follow Jesus. We follow Jesus even when the world rejects us. Because the experience of rejection only happens in this world. But God will never reject us. He may only redirect us. My dear brothers and sisters, I know many of us here are presenting to Jesus our own prayers. Remember that our prayers will not go unanswered, but God may also redirect our prayers. And let us see where Jesus is leading us. The other day, I met one woman here after the Mass, she told me, Father, I just came from the U.S. Embassy and we applied for a visa. I was denied. But she was smiling at me and she said, Okay lang yun, Father. I saw you this morning and I am very happy <laughs> because I have been following your online Mass and it is the first time that I saw you. So yes, I was denied the U.S. visa, but I am happy to be here to celebrate this Mass in the cathedral and to be with you and with this community. God, you know, may have redirected her prayers, but it was a beautiful experience for us to see 
not only the rejection of this world, but to see that our prayers do not go unanswered. God may just be redirecting our prayers. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we also express our devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary through the apparition of Our Lady of Fatima. Our Lady teaches us to have devotion to her Immaculate Heart and to pray for repentance, conversion of sinners. Mary teaches us that prayer also teaches our hearts to learn to redirect our lives from a life of sin to a life of grace. Because sin may blind us in seeing how God is directing our lives. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, we present our prayers to God with confidence and trust because we know our prayers will not go unanswered if we give them with all confidence and trust to the direction Jesus is giving us. Amen. Please stand. God offered us the peace of reconciliation through Jesus, the Son of Mary. Let us pray that peace may be with us. For every petition, let us say, God of peace, bless us. God of peace, bless us. That the leaders of the Church, under the patronage of Our Lady of Fatima, may bring God's people closer to Christ and to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of peace, peace, bless us. That Mary, Our Lady of Fatima, may guide world leaders in their search for lasting peace among nations. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of peace, bless, bless us. us. That Christian communities may seek the peace of Christ by showing love and concern for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of peace, bless, bless us. That Mary may look with compassion on those who are suffering from physical or spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of peace, bless, bless us. us. That the power of the Holy Spirit may come upon us. That the gift of peace may manifest in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of peace, bless, bless us. us. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, we know that all good things come from you. Grant us the gift of peace through the powerful intercession of Mary. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary. And grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are, are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We are very blessed to have this image of Our Lady of Fatima in front of us. This image came from Portugal and uh, 
it was made by the same talier or company who created also the original image in the Capelinia, in the chapel of Our Lady in Fatima. We thank the family of John Felix Santos for uh, allowing us to use the image. And uh, this image of Our Lady will remain here in the cathedral until tomorrow, the whole day of Sunday, so that all who will be coming here to celebrate Mass with us will be blessed by this beautiful image of Our Lady of Fatima. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.